It's so good to be with you, brothers and sisters, for daily evening prayer on this Saturday. Let us begin. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. And now we confess together. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue with the invitatory. O Lord, open our lips. O God, make speed to save us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Together, the Phos Halern. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now, as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Amen. I invite you to pause at this point and reflect upon the readings for the scriptures for this Saturday. The word of the Lord. Together, let us pray the song of Simeon. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you repaired before the face of all peoples, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now let us reaffirm our faith in the Lord through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together we pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. 
that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in your church and in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another in all our life to Christ. Let us join together in the Collect for Saturday, a prayer for the eve of worship. O God, the source of eternal light, shed forth your unending day upon us who watch for you, that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a prayer for mission. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pause for a few moments that we may lift our personal petitions of praise and concern to our Lord. And now let us join together as we pray the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time, with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, dear brothers and sisters, on this Saturday evening and throughout your lives and to all eternity, to the glory of God. Amen.